Distance learning has been a big adjustment for Minnesota families, and it's even more of a challenge for children with learning disabilities like dyslexia or ADHD, and that's an estimated 15 to 20 percent of students. So joining us now on Skype Live to talk more about this is Kim Peoples. She's the head of school at Groves Academy. Kim, thanks so much for talking with us today about this. Thank you so much for having me, Heather. Right. So, Kim, we know that students with learning disabilities, there's, it's, it's very hard often to focus. Uh, and focus is really what you need at this at home, at this distance learning. What are some of the biggest struggles you're seeing with students? Absolutely. Some of the biggest struggles that we're seeing with students are really common to all students, missing the routine and the connection with their teachers and their fellow students, just the consistency of being a part of a school day, because school for students is a large part of their identity. And students also with learning disabilities struggle with executive functioning. And executive functioning is our ability to manage our time, to prioritize tasks, to um, regulate our emotions so that we can achieve a goal or persist in completing a task. Mm -hmm. And Kim, I think that's the hard part of parents trying to balance, parents trying to balance their own work, but trying to figure out how much should I get involved in my child's work. Do you have any recommendations or advice on, on how families can help? The one bit of advice, or I actually have two bits of advice I'd like to share. For all parents, you want to give yourself grace. It's not about being perfect. It's about being there and being in the moment. And the second thing you can do, going back to executive functioning, is just finding opportunities to help to develop those skills in your students. And you can do it with simple goal setting. So say, for example, you decide that you have a goal you want to complete by the end of next week. And perhaps it's creating a wonderful dinner party. Sit down with your child and plan out what you want the dinner party to be. Figure out all the things that need to be involved in it, what you need to do, and then prioritize. When do we need to have certain things accomplished so that we can have this great dinner party? How are we going to manage the execution of it? What are we going to do day one, day two, day three? Mm -hmm. And then on the actual day of the dinner party, celebrate the accomplishment mm -hmm. But more importantly, use that as an opportunity to reflect on what you did to celebrate this right. great moment. What worked well? What were some of the challenges? What could you do differently if you want to add another dimension to a dinner party next week? Right. I, and then just doing that simple activity, you're actually developing your child's executive functioning skills. I love that idea, that idea of celebrating and having them understand this is what's, Absolutely. This is what's a good thing to do. What are you doing specifically at Groves to really help your own students? Well, at Groves Academy, we have the great fortune of having an eight to one student to teacher ratio. So it's really um, opportune for us to continue to develop those strong relationships that we have with our students. We're using Zoom and we're using Google Classroom. We're using multiple things that will help us to stay connected to our students. Most importantly, all of this is grounded in solid relationship building and also finding opportunities for students to socialize with each other. Mm -hmm. Perhaps in our lower school, our right. students are engaging in wonderful lunches with their classmates mm -hmm. and teachers. In our middle school, our counselors are working together to create Zoom social opportunities for our kids. Mm -hmm. And in our upper school, we have weekly class meetings where we're meeting with the freshmen, sophomores, juniors, and seniors just as an opportunity to get together and maintain community. Great. Kim Peoples, thank you so much. Head of school at Groves Academy, we really appreciate talking with you today. It was my pleasure. Thank mm -hmm. you.